If you ever wondered how to deep fry a turkey without it being scary, then this video is for you. The deep fryer we are using is electric and can be used inside. Everything mentioned will be listed in the description. It is Thanksgiving Eve and it is time to start prepping our turkeys. We will be frying two for Thanksgiving because we have a really big family. We're using the Tony Chikiri's injectables. One is going to be jalapeno infused and the other is going to be Creole style. When you are buying this specific seasoning, it does already come with a piece to inject your turkey. We use about two bottles per turkey. These are 18 pound turkeys, which we began thawing out in the fridge starting Saturday, the Saturday before Thanksgiving. The turkey must be thawed out unless you want to fire. For the outside of both turkeys, we are using the Tony Creole seasoning. It has salt, red pepper, black pepper, pretty much everything that you would need. You could see what's exactly in it right here. As you can see, this was done very generously, probably more than I would have put, but it's all good. Also, we did pat the turkeys dry before we put on the seasoning. It is officially Thanksgiving day. We're prepping the fryer with peanut oil, which has a high smoke point. You can use other oil like vegetable oil. I personally don't like the taste that veggie oil gives food. So we're gonna be using peanut oil. There is a line inside the fryer so that way you know exactly how much oil to put in. It's about one of these whole containers. The oil will preheat at 375 for about an hour or until the green light comes on. We let these turkeys sit in the fridge overnight with the marinade and with the rub on the outside of the turkey. We did have them sit on top of a rack so that way it didn't sit in any liquid that came from the turkey. Here you can see what it's like dropping the turkey in and how it's different from other turkey frying videos that you've probably seen. It does bubble up a little bit, but it quickly calms down. By the way, the rule of thumb here is three and a half minutes per pound. We cooked ours for about an hour and a half. Here is the big reveal. Look at this beauty. This takes turkey to a whole other level. We clipped it on the side so that way it could cool and so that way all the oil can drain. As soon as we took it out the basket, it fell apart because it was that tender. This is the second turkey, which was jalapeno infused. It tasted amazing. It was definitely very unique, unlike anything I've ever tasted before. No, it wasn't too spicy, nothing overpowering, but delicious. Now that we are done with the fryer, it is time to drain it. It does come with this little valve, so that way it's easy. We just put it in the old container and then throw out the old oil. With this fryer, you can also boil things and steam things. Like you can have a whole seafood boil in it. It's definitely worth it if you host a lot. I'm gonna leave links to everything in the description box.